Hey guys, it's Dr. Heyer from Holistic Health. Today is Thursday, October 22nd. I hope you're enjoying the beautiful fall weather we've been having. Personally, I could handle it for another six weeks, but I know this is Chicago, so I'm not going to hold my breath, and I'm not going to hold my breath on the Cubs either. Maybe next year. Hey, what this video is about is how are we different? How is my office different than maybe other chiropractors you know? And what I want to talk to you today about what I want to talk to you today about is the triad of health, or how I look at a person from a holistic perspective. Remember back in algebra, back in grade school, we had these equilateral triangles we called isosceles triangles. And to have that, you had to have equal lengths on all three sides, which made a perfectly balanced triangle. Well, that's an analogy or a picture that we can use regarding your health or the triad of health. And the bottom part of that triangle is made up of body structure. The upper top is made up of body chemistry, and then the other side on the right is made up of body energy. Now, if all of these things are balanced, we have what we call homeostasis. But what if one side, let's take the biochemical side, what if hormones and chemistry is out of alignment or out of whack? It's going to affect the chemist, it's going to affect the energy side as well as the structural side. What if we've got the energy side of a person out of, out of balance or out of whack? Well, that can have an effect on the body chemistry as well as the body structure. And if the body structure is out of alignment or out of balance, that can affect chemistry and energy. And then we have dis-ease or um, not homeostasis, and we can have health issues. So this is where chiropractor comes into play because chiropractors are very well known for helping with body structure. Well, how do you affect the body chemistry? Well, we use things like nutritional supplements or talk about dietary recommendations. And the energy, well, that's where we come in with acupuncture. Well, that sounds all very good and philosophical, Doc, but how does that help you in the office and how does that help your approach to dealing with patients? Well, let's talk about a couple things. Let's start with headaches. Did you know that 60 to 70% of all headaches have an origin in the neck? In other words, they have a cervicogenic origin, and that's not just you know tension headaches. That's migraines, cluster headaches, you know, frontal, temporal, all different types of headaches. 60 to 70 percent headaches have a neck problem, and that's why chiropractic has been so effective in helping people with headaches. But that's not the only possible reason. There could also be a biochemical issue. There could be a hormonal imbalance. There could be other things going on that could be contributing to headaches, as well as we all know. Well, maybe we don't all know, but acupuncture is very effective for helping people with headaches because it helps the body release our endorphins and enkephalins, which are our own natural pain-relieving substances that our body makes that can help alleviate those headaches. So sometimes a person may have gone to another chiropractor and gotten some relief, but they didn't look at the other sides of the triangle. Well, how does that affect people with MS? Wait a minute, Doc, you work with people who have multiple sclerosis? Yeah, we do, quite a bit. And there's a growing body of evidence that just like headaches, that there's a growing body of evidence that cervical issues has a huge correlation to folks who have MS. In other words, there can be a neurological issue in the neck causing a neurological issue in the spine and or brain. And another growing body of evidence is the biochemistry side where there, there's evidence that heavy metal toxicities um, chronic long-standing inflammation can also be contributing factors to people who have MS, basically burning off the, the sheath around the myelin, uh, the myelin sheath around the nerve. And then, now you're going to have to go with me on this one, but this is kind of an Eastern diagnosis, but from the traditional Chinese medicine approach, um, somebody who has MS might get a diagnosis of dampness, or there's dampness in their chi, it's not flowing properly. So, we have to look at all three sides of the body for somebody who, or all three sides of the triangle for somebody who has MS. What about infertility? We get a lot of phone calls from folks, from ladies who are asking about acupuncture for infertility, and it's very effective. Now, some ladies are trying to do natural things. They don't want to, try, they don't want to do IUI or IVF yet. They want to do natural things, and it works very effectively. And some people call knowing or are already in the process of getting ready for an IVF transfer. Acupuncture is very effective for helping get that body charged up so those transplants are more effective. But we've also had people who have tried IVF, who have tried acupuncture and still haven't conceived. And that's, I believe, because the body structure has been overlooked. 
If the sacrum, if the pelvis is out of alignment, causing nerve interference to the reproductive organs, they can't work properly. And many times when we incorporate all three and look at you know, body structure as well and correct that pelvic distortion, many times those folks can, can see it. And of course, we all get back pain issues in the office and a lot of times back pain sufferers could benefit by going through some weight loss. So people can come in, you know, maybe they have a high BMI, maybe they're overweight, um, maybe they're diabetic or pre-diabetic, maybe they have biochemistry issues going on, maybe they're lethargic and tired, maybe they've got thyroid problems going on as well. Yeah, we can adjust the structure, we can adjust the spine, but if we don't look at the other sides of the triad, you know, they're only going to get so much improvement. So this is how I look at a person when they come in. I try to look at all three sides to help not only reduce pain and help them feel better, but to restore their health and function as best as possible. And that's, in my opinion, what makes us holistic. So if you have any questions about anything we talked about or feel free to, or anything piqued your interest, you know, feel free to forward it to your friends. Or if you have questions, shoot us an email, give us a call. And thanks and have a great day.